Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Hundreds of travel industry experts are enjoying all the Finger Lakes have to offer. More than 700 are in town this week for TBEX, the largest international conference for influential travel writers and content creators. They met today at Corning Museum of Glass. Prior to today's conference, they got to spend a couple days taking the sights, sounds, and tastes of our region. TBEX stands for Travel Blog Exchange. Um, our tagline is the future of travel media. Uh, basically, it's bloggers, podcasters, YouTubers, any other form of video, and all the social media stuff that goes along with it. Every place is interesting. Uh, Finger Lakes is interesting. We were in Czech Republic uh, earlier this year. We were in, been in Stockholm. We've been in uh, Spain. We've been in, in Greece, in Athens, Greece. We've been in Ireland a couple of times. Travel bloggers, obviously, is a unique group of people. They're passionate about travel. They do travel the world. We have people here who haven't been home for seven years um, just traveling the world. Um, it's just an, a really amazing, fun industry to be in. The Finger Lakes region has been a sponsor of TBEX conferences since 2013. TBEX influencers create hundreds of millions, if not billions, of social media impressions, posts, and images for host destinations. Two people are under arrest in connection with a lockdown at an elementary school in Elmira. They are 19-year-old Jamie Drake and 23-year-old James Brooks. Yesterday, police were called about a man threatening the callers with a gun. Nearby Divin Elementary School was placed under lockdown shortly after that call. Elmira police set up a perimeter around the 300 block of East Center Street. Eventually, Drake and Brooks surrendered. They are charged with criminal possession of a weapon. New York officials say an invasive insect from Asia called the spotted lanternfly has now been spotted in two upstate counties. There have been confirmed sightings in Albany and Yates counties. Invasive pest feeds on more than 70 plant species, including maples, apple trees, and hops. State officials say it does have the potential to harm New York's forests and farms. Now, the adults resemble colorful moths and are active from July through December. Officials urge New York residents to report potential sightings to spottedlanternflydec.ny.gov. One more time, that is spottedlanternflydec.ny.gov. Well, we are looking at some more rain chances ahead. Meteorologist Kim Walker is next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Welcome back, everyone. We started off with some fog this morning, overcast skies as well. Tomorrow, that's what we're going to start off with again. Some patchy morning fog. It could be dense at times as well. A few showers by mid-morning, and we continue the rain chances through your Friday, but I think that will start to taper off by the end of the day. Decrease, decreasing clouds this weekend. Temperatures will be warmer. The humidity will also return as well, but for tomorrow, there will be a little disturbance that will move through, setting off a few showers and thunderstorms for your Thursday that will continue into your Friday. And so we are going to end the week on a wet note, but this weekend it looks like it's going to be gorgeous with plenty of sunshine. Your forecast for tonight calls temperatures uh, tumbling down to around 65 degrees. Um, brief showers some patchy fog developing as well. Tomorrow temperatures will be back into uh, the 70s, 80s across uh, much of the twin tiers. 79 degrees in Elmira, mostly cloudy with occasional showers. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures will be 
in the upper 70s for the next couple of days, warming up to around 80 degrees with a little bit more sunshine this weekend. Then it looks like remnants of Florence could move into our area by early next week. So we do have the possibility of showers and thunderstorms as Florence combines with a cold front. That's what we're thinking of, of now. And we are going to see those temperatures really drop dramatically. So our high on Tuesday will be around 77 degrees. And then by Wednesday, we drop down to around 66 degrees with chances of showers and thunderstorms scattered across the region. Scott. All right, thank you, Kim. A cleaner at the Oregon Zoo is just trying to get work done and has to deal with this. The cleaner in diving gear is making sure the penguinarium is in its best shape. Yeah, you heard that right. It's called a penguinarium, like an aquarium, but for penguins. But this penguin is not interested in work. It just wants to play. As you can see, though, the cleaner didn't really seem to be bothered. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great night.